One group of Grand Valley residents are experts at making beer from scratch, and they're not even full-time brewers. The Bookcliff Home Brew Club held its annual Iron Brew Competition Saturday. That's right, Ivan. Club members competed to make the best homemade beer using mystery ingredients. Gary X5's Adrian Thomas was at the competition and joins us live in studio with more details. Adrian? Ivan and Shelby, Bookcliff Home Brewing Club takes beer beyond the breweries and into their own hands, literally. This group of Grand Valley residents have come together in the name of homemade beer. The annual Iron Brew Home Brewing Competition at Fruita Hopworks is an opportunity for these folks to showcase their skills. It all starts with hops, grain, water, and yeast. Fruita Hopworks, a local hops farm, hosts the annual Iron Brew Competition for the Bookcliff Home Brew Club. Members of the club team up or work by themselves to brew a batch of beer to be judged at a later date. Iron Brew, we show up and we get a kit and we don't know what's in it. We don't know what kind of hops or malt and there's always a secret ingredient. In order for each team to get the full points in today's competition, everyone must use sweet potatoes and marshmallows in their beer. And it's all in spirit of the holiday season. It just seems like a perfect time of year when we're getting into Thanksgiving. That, and it's very creative. I don't know that anybody's brewed with sweet potatoes or, mush or mushroom, marshmallows before. Most participants don't work in the beer brewing industry, but one club member has made beer his life, at home so, uh, and at work. You know, my, my day job is I, uh, I'm a regional manager for Oscar Blues Brewery, but as a passion I've been a home brewer for almost 20 years now and it's something I enjoy doing and being in the business. Today I'm brewing by myself. And Bookcliff Home Brew Club members say this competition is exciting because of how fast they have to combine ingredients to brew their batch. We're doing it on the fly, so every, you'll see people taking notes and have the computers out trying to figure out what their grain bill needs to be when the hops go in. For Monty Haltener, he feels events like these are a great way for people to see how easy it is to make beer right from the comfort of their own home. To get people interested in home brewing, teach them how to brew about the intricacies of beer, the history of beer, and what beer means in Colorado. Now, the beer that was brewed at Saturday's competition won't be ready anytime soon. Those at Bookcliff Home Brew Club say it will be at least a few weeks before they can bottle their beer, and the winner of the competition will be decided in a few months when the club meets again for tasting and judging. First on the Western Slope and live in studio, I'm Adrian Thomas, KREX 5 News.